Episode 7 of The Expanse. We're back. Let me let me explain. They were they were a little swollen. I don't think it's related. I took my allergy, I took my allergy medicine, my antihistamines. I don't think it's related. <laughs> I don't think it's related. <laughs> but um you heard it here first. Oh fuck. Oh, dude. Come on, Lord. No, dog, no. No. <laughs> All these people? Let's eat some freeze-dried... pear. There's enough for all of us. Riff raff. Street rat. There's not enough for all of us. Anymore. Fucking Miller. <laughs> Fucking Miller. <laughs> A few more days. Fast. It's fine. Old girls on the bar. 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 Barba piccolo. Barba piccola. Barba piccola. She'll fix it. I have faith. Can we go back? So we're all just still at the mercy of you and your invisible friend. Fucking Miller. There's like. There's like sleep in it or some gunk. Oh no. Oh it's worse shit. In my left eye, but there's some in my right eye as well. I like that little camera trick with the green tint on it. Okay. Antihistamine compound should clear it up. But I, I need there to There it is. To be sure. There it is. Just, Just give me some time. I'll be ripe as rain. Right as rain. Ripe. Everyone keeps their heads so we'll all make it out of here. Except you the belters. Go do it. Thieving, aggressive belters. I'm telling you, you guys, you guys, you basic, you basic ass bitches. Murtry just needs one Kingslayer bath scene, right? Where they give some backstory. And then all of a sudden, he's the new protagonist. That's it. Dude, I, I, honestly, I feel like my, I, I feel... Oh shit. This might be getting this I don't know. I'm opening my eyes as wide as possible and it's still like this isn't a bit. I'm talking to you directly, breaking the fourth wall. This isn't like a bit I'm doing here. I think that's that doesn't look good. <laughs> I'm looking at myself now. This this doesn't this doesn't look good. I might need to get, uh, I might need a prescription or something. It says every four to six hours, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut in line a little bit. Let's dual wield our way to recovery. Take more of it and you recover faster. Everybody knows that. I wanna make sure I don't forget this because he used the rail gun episode one or something like that, or two or three, whatever. I'm saying that verbally so I remember it. There's a rail gun on the Rosinate that's going to be used at a certain point to blow up a moon or something. I don't know. Dude, I think the lighting in here is so good. Your daughter. The last resort. What do you mean? Last resort. Just the heavy red tones with the blues. And on Lucia's face, when it does the close up here. This one, like light blues coming from the bottom up with the heavy red undertones on the top. We lose the lithium ore that we mine. And then Naomi's face just being entirely washed in it. I don't think there's like some big subtext on it's the conflicting nature of the cool and the red. I think it's just the lighting of the ship in, in this particular scene. But like filming with these very strong lights that they have positioned around, it makes for it just, the complexion on the characters looks really cool. I just love the like, silhouettes and the shading that that these lights are putting on the the actors did there with my tits hanging out <laughs> for 15 minutes saying who else is honest and open Aaron Wright Jules Pierre Mao Murtry Marcos Inaros I could go on they're all honest you may not like what they have to say but they're all honest 
The person who says nothing when nobody asks a fucking question. <laughs> Arjun is Simpson. He's <laughs> different. How about Cyanide? We only have him. It's a. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they used that in ancient Greece to kill prisoners. The the poison. My good friend Socrates. Um, he died to the hemlock poison. You talk me. So when does she um. Does she curse as much in the book? I wonder if they. So, she's cursing, cussing, cursing, cursing. She's saying a lot more naughty words this season than in previous ones, and I wonder if that's more in line with her character in the book or less in line. Like, since. Your move to Amazon and not Netflix, maybe you get more leeway with the ratings or something like that. Or they just felt, hey, we can be closer to the books by just having her talk like a sailor. Or if the character, I guess another option would be the actual character in the books, like slowly starts saying more and more cuss words. Look at this beautiful headshot. Look at these photos. Him just as a as a young boy growing up. What do we get here? Innumerate offenses: piracy, extortion, smuggling, sabotage, impersonating a public official, unlawful flight, possession of illegal weapons, occupation, minor at the Hygieia station, escape artist, OPA, no foreign orcon, no foreign orcon. Words in the belt five eleven. Sex male, eyes brown, weight, language, creole, political, social affiliations, Outer Planets Alliance, formerly the FN unconfirmed. FN? Formerly of the OPA, unconfirmed he's politically affiliated with the FN. I don't know if I know what the FN is. Traits. Operatives describe a charming OPA. Extremist. Who is considered armed and dangerous. There is growing doubt over the charismatic leader, <laughs> leader's vision within the core organization, especially from Anderson Dawes. Even more, rumors suggest his offspring is becoming disillusioned. Oh, so the kid is still alive. Medina Station reports no direct affiliation, but UNN analysts report uncertainty. So then I guess hopefully in this season... We'll see the kid. That could be kind of cool. Sky evidence is high. Assuming he's still under safe. Hmm. This could be interesting. The UNN Raskolnikov is the closest. Raskolnikov. Rodian Romanovich. Sorry. Rodian Romanovich Raskolnovich is the fictional protagonist of the 1866 novel Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. The name Raskalnovik derives from the Russian Raskalnik, meaning schismatic. Insertion team and a breaching pod will board and take the ship. At the well, same time, the low, as the OPA still boarding. But is there a chance we would be able to? They're both here. I have bad news. <sighs> Seems to be contagious. It's not the only thing. Fuck me. Before we evacuated, I noticed some kind of Fuck microorganism. Me. Growing in my Fuck me, dude. Is nearly everyone here. We are all infected. I still need to check you, sit down. You told me it was an allergy. That's what I've been telling everyone. I, I don't want to start Oh, to no, dude. The truth is, single-cell microorganisms native to this planet are making a home in our eyes. They're not hijacking our cells like a virus would. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. No, dude, no. It's allergies. It's allergies. It's allergies. It's just allergies. It's just allergies in December. All the pollen that goes out in... Come on, dog. Human bodies are water. They're eating away in our eyes. Yes, they probably will end up eating away. <laughs> so what can you do? Right now, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> 
Zero. Um, if Amos is infected, then I think I have an idea of what it could be. Why he's not try again. So how long? infected by it. People start going blind. They already are. I can't be sure until we all lose sight, but maybe a day. Bro. A day. I'm already losing vision, dog. Uh, I mean, if I do this, I can see more of the world. So I'm not like going blind, it's just my eyelid is closing. Uh, this is a bad episode to watch, dog. Also, we're all living in each other's pockets. So, so also, zero percent. So also maybe like they were getting infected they bring up the water purifying tablet so you can purify the water but maybe these organisms still exist in the in the the drinking water spots or floaters in your eyes? i get like little i yeah i get like little like floating like little twirly guys everyone's infected you couldn't it's only a transmission i have an idea what it could be i need a blood sample from you i think i know i think i know what it is goes without saying that curing this is our i think i think it's this guy Main. Oh no. Mercury. I think um that's the only thing that makes sense. Her? Just edges. Okay, mine doesn't itch. And it's not green. Like him taking after the kid. Taking after himself, kind of. Like uh you saw that with the daughter, and I think one other thing. There was like this scene where he's getting drunk, or no, uh, I can't remember where it is, but it's not. There's not a kid in there, but he talks about kind of his his past, and then there's the scene with Prax's kid, um, and moments where he reflects on taking care of kid and it seems to be i mean he likes taking care of the people he cares about right but specifically like kids are very important to to him look he wants his team to survive you can't blame him for that but he's an equal opportunity ass whooper yep. how can his team survive if everyone's dead she won't be able to protect you. Well, I guess that's not necessarily true. I guess it can't be the drinking water because then she would have been infected and all the people that left to get on board the Barbapicula uh, would also have been infected. And I don't remember it ever raining. Horrific nightmares. Visions of death I can never unsee. To me, that sounds like an acceptable trigger. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I like that little scene. I don't know of any other time in the show that this has happened. Like that reaction from from him. I don't know of another time in the show that that's happened. You know, when he's talking about death, when he's talking about killing people. When he's talking about his past, when he's been shot, he's he's always like down, you know, down for whatever and to do anything. And I don't I don't remember ever seeing him like react like that before. So I I don't know. The I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know the backstory. Oh fuck me, dude. I don't know the backstory if like blindness is a super important thing to him, or if just the thought of that shakes him so much more than the thought of dying or if the way the information was relayed to him like completely catches him off guard whatever whatever it is or whatever you as the viewer like take from it i think his reaction is is uh 
is different than anything else. But our great Ajax. Agamemnon. Talking about, yeah. See, back in my day, they didn't have a, a wall behind him with the image on it. They'd have to wheel out this little projector on this gray fucking thing with the belt strap tying it down. And if the professor stood in front of it, then you'd see the image on him and the rest of it would get splashed on the back. It's throwback Thursday. What day is it? I don't know. Bend and defeat him with reverse psychology. Now, how the turn tables have turned. On our sofa was. One thing I hope is in the future, wherever this is, that Granny Smith is still pumping out tasty ass apples. Viewing times like this. Oh my God, this is incredible. This shot is incredible. There's a, you got a camera or softbox, uh, not camera. You got a, a softbox like above her to give her the highlights here on the edge. And then it looks like there's one, if this is her face, there's one like here shining in to give this like little sliver of edge highlighting there on the nose and to bring out that side of the face. And then on the right, you've negged out basically almost all the light on that side of the of the of the camera lens blocking all that stuff to get it all in shadow and it looks like it's kind of hard to tell but it looks like they also changed the color grading slightly around her like bring down the colors around her and bring her up just slightly so that the eye is like immediately drawn there and doesn't even really wander to this sort of like for me to this right edge because the edge of the screen looks even darker than like this part. I don't know. It's whatever. I don't know. The, I think this shot is cool. How moody the lighting is here. It doesn't have any of that sci-fi greenish tint to it. Like the matrix has that like really harsh green tint on it. This is just like super low exposure is really low. The light here, light there, on there, everything else is negged out, dropped out. You got the the background of the projector giving that orange brownish hue on there. This is super moody. I like it. And they even pulse here too. This one at least does. I I was too drawn to this one to look at any of the other ones, but this one like actually animates too. Okay, I had to pause and check. Right here above the sign, there's like a bug flying through there. Now that looks like film burn. Oh, fuck me. I'm going to leave that part in anyway. That's film burn on the animation for the Rosinante thing to give it like a stylistic feel because it's set back in the day so it matches that thing i'm gonna leave it in anyway but that's what that is there's no bug on the rosinante it's like a film burn that they apply to it i just love what they What's did with five? this whole set a little guy he wanted plants sand with the red with that strip sand. of light like sand this is just cool real beach one time felsia and i saw a tug john go out and manually raise a mirror when the thrusters fail. Right, okay, I see what you're getting at. And yes, the Rossi has drawn. Hold on, I didn't One get time, it. One time, Felsia and I saw a tug drone go out and manually raise a mirror. Felsia and I saw a tug drone go out and raise a mirror when the thrusters fail. Right, okay, I see what you're getting at. When, like, they turned the Navu around, too. Just the Rossi itself, right? We'd be putting both ships out. But could it work? So... What if we take the nets apart and weave together a single cable that long? Could that work? Please. I need to make this right. Naomi, what's this? We got a plan. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Just listen. I like, I like this because this reminds me of... Me. I need but I like the way that she goes through this problem here because that's almost exactly what I'll do like what's the problem and then just logically like 
I don't know. It was cool watching her. Like, can we do this? Okay, what about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? What is this? Because that reminds me of the way that I like just think through things. I mean, you know, a lot of people are gonna. It's not some fucking a beautiful mind type shit. A lot of people go through problems like that. But I think uh, I thought that was it's kind of cool. today knows. I sent a message. I do like. I do like their interaction here, but I have to question. Why are they talking to her and not, like, I have to buy into that there's not a, that this ship doesn't have a single engineer on it, and the most qualified engineer is this chick who's never gone to university. She just liked looking at things to try and figure out how it worked. So she did some bedroom tinkering with stuff, and this plan is being fed to her. Like, does that make sense? I get they're talking to each other here, but like in reality, you'd probably have a much better trained engineer that would be overseeing this and pulling the power cables off of the ship or, you know, whatever they were doing earlier. Maybe they all died. Maybe that's how you justify it. But like, you see what I'm saying? I'm on a treatment, so there's hope. And obviously things have changed. We need to maintain peace with the Belters. So we know. You gotta love this guy. How can you not love this guy? You gotta maintain peace with the Belchers. So Dr. Okoye can treat us. Once we know that she can treat us, then maybe, you know, oh, all our guys are taken care of. All your guys are just... Oh, sorry. Now... Holden becomes like a little problem if you do that. But he's only a man. No, Dr. Okoye can treat he's us. only he one man. Need to share our food and water. That's why you stopped the fight. What? This thing <laughs> sideways. Very How do you easy. not love Murtry, dude? <laughs> How do you guys not love this guy? You heard what Holden said. He's going to defend the Belters' claims. That's why I'm not putting my fate in the hands of the core. Silence, Holden. God damn it. You see, Liam? He's on water pier. How do you fucking not love that guy? Penance for overreaction. About the Anteros. I don't think I've heard that before. So that's probably the ship he was referencing when they're landing originally. The, like thing he was doing before here. On the ride home, I strapped more than enough for the both of us. For everyone who helps us do what needs to be done. Things aren't going to end well on this planet for old. And I need to know that you've got my and I make my move. You've never had to pay for my loyalty. <sighs> Your duty activities have given me reason to question you. Amos is not a problem. <laughs> I've got a little chub. <laughs> okay, that wasn't exactly the like bath kingslayer scene. But god damn was it good. Well, Liam's dead. And I like that because that guy, he's got his hands up like he can't even really s visually see what's going on. Skinny. Leeches? Oh no. He's got the alien in him? Something coming out of his throat? Oh, I fucking hate this. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, the. Oh, Christ. What the fuck? No, don't, don't touch. 
Those slugs. I killed them. What the Break fuck? Of fuck. What? Everywhere. He was blinking. Any kind of change in flight. What? No, ma'am. The ready. Dude, I'd love to see. I'd love to see Earth just fucking send some space marines out there. Or star teams. Fucking sick. So sick. This is fucking incredible, dude. This is a Carl Urban Doom. Okay, we don't talk about that movie. This is fucking Astartes Amazon version. Which if you haven't seen those shorts, you should. Even if you don't care about Warhammer. Everybody get jabated? When he neutralizes the threat, you see the green smoke. Contact right? Ooh. Oh shit! What, dude? It's like the rock shower scene. What the fuck? The Pazuza. It's gone. What? I got the slug juice in my eye. What? I like in the little mini map up here in the top right for your UI. Oh, and it also has stats here. Let me check all this stuff out. This is cool. The side said broadsword actual, and you have your like map here, and it's pulsing and kind of following that guy. Yeah, I like that. What? And that's the broadsword team with these names that we were following. That's really cool. What? They blew it up? Dude, I'm fucking I'm I'm hooked. I'm hooked in. I I I have to imagine it's the cancer thing. That's the only thing that differentiates him from all of them. And even that's like a little bit of a guess because then you have to make an assumption that no other belter has ever received cancer treatment or meds when episode three or four of season one, Miller's questioning one of the guys that Julie used to work with, the guy she beat up, and uh, he, where he gets that picture of her, and he says, like, yeah, these belters were working in these mine shafts, and they can't breathe, or they got infected or something, so they have to take um, cancer meds for the rest of their lives. So... It's it's possible it's not that. You gotta gotta make an assumption that no other single person on there is taking that type of treatment. Um and then you have to make another assumption that whatever's in his cancer thing actually attacks this alien organism. Uh, or extraterrestrial organism, whatever it is. So you kind of got to make some jumps there, but that's the only thing in my head that like actually fits the necessary criteria that could work. Uh, but I'm like, I'm hooked. There's three episodes left and it's ramping up. I'm sad we didn't really see any Ashford or Drummer because they were 
I believe they had seen the same image and they were in talks about getting on board this ship specifically. But I'm 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 having fun. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. I like I like Murtry, best lines, best scene. I did actually like that scene. Uh that long monologue that he had. The little bit about Amos that I pointed up, everybody going blind. They actually excuse me, they actually showed that kid real er, real early episode two or three or something. Lucia's um taking care of that kid pretty early on. Uh there's still the rail gun, which I gotta keep locked away in my head. They gotta use the rail gun at a certain point. And then I don't really know what happens to Avasarala when she loses. I'm putting all my cards in Nancy. And I have been earlier. I'm not a fair weather Nancy guy. Uh but I don't know if that means she has to leave Earth, right? Like you can lose the election and still be there. Does she like have to leave Earth for some reason? Uh, so that I'm not sure. But three episodes left. The pace is definitely picking up. And then with all the slugs and shit. So <laughs> I got to check my room. I got to get a UV light and check my room. See you tomorrow.